Hello and welcome to Tip of the Spearhead. I'm Ace Face and as always I'm with my good buddy Simon. How you doing Simon? Well, yeah, I'm alright now mate. I'm back. I'm back. back you sound more chipper. I... Yeah, I've, well I've been doing hobby for the past few days so that's been good. Um, so yeah, no, it's, uh, I am on the mend, shall on we say. On the mend, eh? It's yeah. Good. Yeah, it's yeah. nice. I've been allowed out of the house so I, I, uh, I, I escaped for a, a bit for the last couple of days. Just got out just as far as the shop. You know, exciting yeah, stuff. Yeah, you spent your exercise and your uh, essential shopping to go and yeah, stretch your but, legs. But, but, but when you've been in, in like, you know, uh, under house arrest, you know, get, getting out for about 20 minutes, you know, it's everyone was complaining about queuing. I was like, man, you, you want to be locked inside for 14 days, and then you'll move. Anyway, yeah. there we go. My, so, my, uh, my, mine goes on, but I've been now f- almost four weeks now. So I know, man. And you've got another eight weeks of it to come, right? So. And I've not been out of the house, so there we go. So, uh, yeah, and I am crawling the, crawling the walls, but it's all good. It's all good. At least well, I'm I, still I, ticking and uh, healthy and stuff like that, so I'll take it. Well, you know, mate, I've had, a, I've, had, I've had a dose of it. I don't think you've got anything to worry about. Stop being a big fanny and get out there. It's all good. <laughs> No, I, I know, I I know you've got someone else's liver, but I'm sure it can take it. Come on, yeah, man up, live a little. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Oh, you can't say man up. You can't say man up. People get really annoyed. It's uh, it's that's like a big, it's a big no no thing to say that people get really, really, really annoyed. Like you know when like people get so annoyed they start shaking, like oh I'm angry. So when you tell someone to man up, oh oh am I? They start leaving your notes and your windshield and shit. You know because they're too angry to actually shout at you, but, but angry enough to write a letter. There you go. So we, we best not say that, right? So don't man up. You stay in, mate. You stay safe. <laughs> and we're all is best. well. So what are we going to talk about today? We're going to, we can't just take the piss out of each other for an hour. Well, we could. We're going to talk about something exciting. We, we could. But before we get started, so um, if you, this is the first time you've uh, followed the show, you listen to us, then thank you very much for tuning in. We really do appreciate it. Um, please do kind of like it and comment on it and do all that good stuff wherever you kind of consume this content. Uh, we're part of the Twisted Dice Network, which you can check out all loads of other content as well. Um, we publish over on YouTube loads of videos um, and also very active on Facebook and on Instagram. Um, and if you like what we, we do, you can support us um, for uh, from a dollar a month uh, upwards to what you like. And you, you can support us on Patreon and uh and get lots of perks and all sorts of good stuff we're doing some competitions over there just for our patrons not competitions but giveaways um and we're starting to drop content there early and exclusive content as well so there's never been a better time to be a patron um and at this time it's uh it's really really appreciated as we're uh, we're working hard to try and bring out content for you as you go crazy at home um but yeah but thank you very much for tuning in and um so today what we're going what we're going to work on and we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about the the second part of the saga of the beast right well, what was it about is this about this, this we've had the saga so this must be the beast right I mean, this bit, I, i'm working on an orc at the moment which and that when when you know that i'm working on something you know i think something's good right shouldn't it be called saga of the fungi though because not really beasts are they they're more sort of vegetable based. They're more vegetable based. Yeah, well, everything. Yeah, I suppose. Not so everything. you could eat an orc and still be vegan, right? I, I suppose so. I suppose ah, so. What a world. What, what a, a world, world the year 40,000 is. Right? Yeah. But yeah. yeah. Just think of that resource. It's all sat there. But I'm, I'm working so, on, I'm actually painting as we do the show. I'm painting the Mega Knob right now. So does that mean you're going to make loads of fucking noise like you did like the previous week? So are you going to be? No, I'm not building. I'm not building. I should. I should. should, I'm actually just, 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 just painting. So uh... because you you know the last couple of weeks you've sounded like that dickhead who sits next to you with a pack of skittles in the cinema, just just rattling away. Just maybe can you make more noise, mate? I should probably keep going. You know, keep it going. You know, you don't want to. I reckon you should do. No, I don't know. And people, we could all play the game of what? What's he doing now? What a game. What a game we could have. So let me ask you a question, right, before we go jump into it. Have you used the um, the orc flesh contrast, or are you doing it a different way? Um, I do it, I do it differently, um, but they use a similar – well, it's not similar. Um, I, I like my orcs to have, like, a kind of um, olive olive sort of skin. I don't like the really saturated bright green or the very, very dark. I like it to be kind of like – um, I, I think you can play around with the tones a lot better when it's more of a kind of an olivey. So I use the so more, Elysian... more of a Mediterranean, more of a Mediterranean. Yeah, or... yeah so I use Elysian green as the base. That's um, interesting. 
Um, and then that, that's not um, a great green because I've been no. playing around with greens myself. Asian least, green is is piss thin. It, it's, yeah, I'm, I use air as well, so um, even thinner. So I use so I go over with that first of all, a couple of thin layers of that until that starts to take, um, and then I go over that with the Beltan green wash. Um, and then that that really makes it a really green, really green. But also, yeah, because that's you... quite that's quite that's quite a sharp green, isn't it? So... That is, that is, okay. and that just goes in. And so that that that's an all over. But then I quickly like pad that down on the surfaces with like a sponge or a bit of tissue to take it off the real raised areas. Um, then go back in with the Elysian green, and then my final highlight is with Ogryn camo. That's, that's yep, yep. They are agreeable shades. Um, I like that. And the old green camo is like um, it's kind of a greeny version of um, a shawty bone, not a shot. You know what's it called? Yeah, Something yeah, like yeah. that. Anyway, it's basically like that. But it's a it's a very greeny just tone of that kind of cream, and that gives you a really nice kind of highlight on it. So yeah, that works for me. Um, um, the fact is, that we, I, I kind of we've, we've got one um, army for the channel, which is kind of a combination of both my stuff and Darren's stuff. And we both massively disagree on the green, which is which is hilarious. Um, Darren likes the oversaturated green. I like the um, olive green. I'm a, I'm a fan of the of the of the bright, sharp green. I must yeah, admit. he likes it. He likes it. I I don't. I, I I just like. I don't know. I find that whenever you work in flesh, the human eye naturally wants to um, wants it to look like human flesh. Um, and the brighter something is, and the more unnatural that kind of flesh looks, the harder it is to make it fit, make it look to the human eye as um, realistic and natural. Um, so the closer you have more kind of neutral tones and ones that you can play around with the kind of light and the shadow a bit more, then I think the eye draws to them and makes them look more natural. That's that's kind of my thing, anyway. That's yeah, and I, I think it's important that that we that we paint space mushrooms in a realistic <laughs> way because how how would people know that they're space mushrooms if, if exactly. they weren't that way you know deadly you know, stuff I, simon you know we have to get it right you know and, and feel free to comment because you know i don't we don't get enough comments you know so talk to us about you about your greens i think we could talk for hours about greens but i think we do have to talk about the the, the things we've been painting green right we do. I, now can, can i just say i have a soft spot for orcs so now this I. is one of those nostalgic Back in the day, but yeah. when I first got into 40k in, I think 1994. Shit, it's going to be that's that's probably older than some of the people listening to this, right? Yeah, so 1994. Yeah. I don't even know what the White Dwarf was, but I remember there's this guy that used he used to be back. He used to be on the White Dwarf team back in the day. He was called Adrian, I'm sure of it. And he had these like mad glasses, and he was just just like a crazy kind of like orc dude, yeah, and he never won. Never won, like never won ever, because that wasn't what orcs did back in the day. The orcs killed themselves and blew up, and it was fun, and it was totally cool. And I just remember this battle report, and I think it got me, it stuck in my head. It was like Tracy Island on Blue Peter, and it was like this kind of like big landing pad type thing. And do you remember in the day when you used to use like pizza trays as like landing yeah. pads and shit like that? Yeah. And obviously someone had made this like really cool, and, and like the, the green cactuses with their red spikes in it. Oh, man, yeah, yeah. The old, old, that, old school. actually Space Wolves versus orcs, that game? Oh, could it have been? No, I don't know. What, I think it was Eldar. I, I don't know why, but like oh, you know, back in the day, Eldar, when you had the uh, the the the, the, the swooping hawks, which you had to put like five ton of lead in the base because it was it fall over, because like they were terrible. Yeah, but I just the, had this real um, those, the wraith, those orcs. Wraith knight, no, not wraith knights, wraith lords that were just like a circle on legs. <laughs> and back in the day like you could make your own trucks and shit and it was really cool and i just remember like they made this like goth battle wagon thing and it was all like yes. cars. yeah it was like a circle wasn't it just like a big yeah, yeah, yeah. basically this, yeah this this was the world before highlighting right because it's the paint jobs in these in these old white dwarfs are just absolutely abominable yeah. there's, there's never heard a shade or highlighting it's just this black and red thing with with, with like four wheels on it and it's just like it just stands it's just so bright and stand outish but there you go. So I've got this like real nostalgic kind of feel for orcs, which they've ruined, right? No, so I'm not going to get in my soapbox yet, but you I will. You will. It's, it's coming. It's coming, right? Yeah, and I'll, you'll know when it gets there. But let, yeah. let's talk. What do you want to talk about? Do you want to start at the start then and talk about let's, the new, the new improved at the start? Yes, because I, I, I think there's some some good stuff in here. I think so. Um, uh, so I played orcs quite 
a lot the um, not last year but the year before so pretty much when they were hot stuff um, going into the LVO and they were what everybody was after at that point um, and and yeah they were they were top in the meta but I kind of very much um, liked a few more kind of obscure units um, and I think they're actually still really really strong so when we get to that I'm going to be quite excited about talking about how a few of these units potentially got even better so uh, so yeah let's let's dive in and talk about some of this stuff so yeah so so what what do you get right so ways of the orc it's, oh, it sounds like it's ways of the samurai doesn't it sounds really cool um, so you get some new and updated units Woo. Yep. you get some stratagems you get specialist mobs which are pretty cool Custom jobs, which are also pretty cool. Um, everyone wants a, everyone wants a custom job, right, Simon? And actually, <laughs> our pre our pre we say our, I prefer a hand job, but custom. I was going to say that's what I was going to say. What about a custom hand job? Anyway, oh, right, we're going to go. this. This is getting <laughs> a bit too awky for me now. This this could end in tears, right? Yeah. But the the little debate we had before and about custom jobs, they've just literally answered it here, because the wording where it is is terrible. But the wording here makes it very clear. And it, I just point it out. These yeah. rules, so custom jobs, these cool rules can be used with a Mechboy workshop or, which changes everything, by using the custom job strategy. So we've already yeah. answered that yeah. question because yeah. that makes it super cool and super clean. Psychic powers are on your good old favorite name generator. Orky McMushroom or whatever the heck that will come out at. Mushroom McMushroom face. So yeah. there we go. So the new and updated units, John, what's the biggest and coolest newest updated unit? Um, Gasco, of course. No, it's Makari. You were wrong. 50-50, oh. 90. Well, not the right? biggest, is he? Let's be honest. He uh, is the biggest. Not... He's the biggest thing to happen to the Orcs in a very long time, mate. Mm. A, a, a Gretchen HQ. So do we know why he came back? Because he was eaten, wasn't he, right? Or no, he was sat on. Sat on, eaten. They reckon he's like number eight or something, don't they? It just Carpenter just wanted to bring somebody cool back, didn't he? But let's yeah. talk about the big guy, Gazgul. Yeah. What do you think of the model? Big Gaz. Like love the model? It. Sexy. The model love is it. really cool, to be fair. I like I like the you can see where they've stitched his head back that's on. That's bit. the best bit. Yeah, that's so so cool. I'm not quite sure about the, the four like tube gun thing that looks a bit mad, but his claw looks really cool. And I like there's big... two poses. I prefer the pose when he's a bit more upright rather than the one where he's kind of doing the slide almost. But, yeah, because he's a but... big model. He's like dreadnought sized or something. Yeah, he, I think he's even slightly bigger than a dreadnought. Yeah. So what 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 was everyone? So everyone's been after it. Was it is it mecha mega orcs? What what is? So everyone's been screaming about getting this new super sized orc, and they, they, it's got a name, and I can't remember. Prime orc. Prime orc. Prime orc is. So is he technically a prime orc then, or? Well... We... Or is no, it I, much like? Yeah, he's not, but no, they're not. They're not calling it that. Okay. No, because so, prime orcs are saying like, and um, the prime orcs can like talk in um, high, um, not Gaelic. What's it called? High Gothic. Gothic. Yeah, high Gothic. Thinking, high Gaelic would be awesome. But, Wouldn't it um, just? But yeah, they apparently yeah. like prime orcs can. They, you know, they're that clever that they. They're not only they're huge; they can actually talk normal. Ah, well. they're like genetically modified things. Oh, yeah. and, okay, cool. So then it's a new day. So like. I'm pretty sure everyone knows what Gazgul does now and everything does. Do you think he's got any play? Talk, talk to me about that. So there's only one way, I think. So I've been working, so in preparation to this, so we do do our homework sometimes, not often, but every now and again. Um, I was trying to work out how, how you'd make him work. And I think the only way you can make him work is by putting him in the teleporter. Um, so you can't, like, he's not fast enough. And there's no way of springing him quickly enough into action, even with his new role that reduces his his his, his damage. Um, he's still not quick enough because he only moves like seven. Um, I think he even gets slower as he start, starts to die. He's got three profiles. Um, so he's, he, he's does. Not... He, he goes goes down to five. Yeah, so so seven, he, six, five. He's not getting there basically if he slogs. Even if you front line him, you get first turn. He's not getting there. Yes, he he will be able to on the turn when he really gets there, be able to run and charge. Um, but I still can't see him getting there before he dies. Um, it's just it's just not going to happen. Um, and even if he does limp in there, he might be able to just about hit something once, maybe before he dies miserably. He's he's just never going to do that way. But if you put him in the teleporter, which you can do, you can't just jump him because he's a monster. Um, yep. But you can put him in the teleporter. 
um, drop him down. Now, obviously, he can't be evil son, so he does have no way to to manipulate that. Um, it's just a straight uh, nine, nine with a reroll. Straight right? nine with a full reroll, but you can reroll either one of those dice, which is quite yeah. nice. So that so that's good. Um, but there's no way of doing any better than that. You can't roll three dice. You can't get one to it. There's there's no way, as far as I'm aware, there's no way of manipulating that to make it any easier. Um, but that's the only way you can bring him in. And he has got a chance, I suppose, of dropping down, even failing his charge and still being viable because he can probably soak up a turn's worth of shooting um, and then crash in and do work the next turn. So so I think that's the only way you can take him. And he's OK, but I, I, I just don't see him... We'll come on to it in a bit, but there's something that makes a standard boss even better, and I just think you're gonna take the standard boss over him. Um, well, you just you just turn the standard boss into into a grand war boss instead, don't you? And I think exactly. Gets, exactly. Yeah, that's the one. So, 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 so yeah. see, oh yeah, I just don't. Yeah, he he's he's okay. He's not ridiculously bad. He's not terrible. Um, but it's I don't think some, it's going to take some killing, though, isn't he? So I mean, even if yes. you don't make the charge. I just I just look at it and go I, I'm I must, am I missing something because he only gets five attacks does he get an extra attack he adds an extra attack doesn't he so he adds an extra attack yeah. uh does he does he get that yeah he does yeah yeah um because it's the thing his, his special role every orc uh, within so and so no no it's orc infantry so he doesn't even get uh, it so he doesn't even get it anymore no nope, so he doesn't get it um but yeah but he does get more attacks as he goes down as he gets yeah, injured but, yeah but only down to seven. That's not know. bad, I mean, though, but, it, but he's not for killing lots of little stuff. He's for hammering something big, because he's, each one is doing four damage each, which is nice. Um, yeah, which is good, which is good. I, I grant that. I mean, the gun's yeah. not great, is it? It's no, the gun's, gun's pants. It's not enough shots. Well, it's just a 12-shot every bolter, isn't it, basically? Yeah, ex exactly. Um, the other thing that I actually don't like is the fact that I don't like his, his strength. His strength needs to be higher, because he's still only wounding knights on threes. Uh, yeah. He doesn't get to wound T8 on twos, and I think for him, he needs that. He needs he needs to be able to at least wound anything in the game on twos. Um, he looks like he's... he should be stronger than seven. He looks like he should be like strength eight or nine, doesn't he? He looks I, monstrous. I agree. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Um, and and there are yeah. like he's got like I think there's like psychic powers you could spend like could cast on him to get him stronger. Um, but, yeah, but we we all know that that's a path to nowhere, isn't it? Because you've only got one turn of that, and yeah, yeah, you know, he's he's probably. I mean, okay, he heals wounds back, right? But doesn't heal them back fast enough? I wouldn't have thought. Um, because you only do with a heal once per turn, isn't it? Which is yeah. the D three. Yeah, he's probably going to go. Yeah, I don't. I just don't think he is. He's he's not good enough, really. Um, in in nice. He's, he's not worth two hundred eighty five points, is he? He's 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 too expensive. Um, and he's he's just not good enough. He just doesn't he doesn't offer you enough. Um, yeah, I just don't. I don't think he's good enough, really. I mean, because he's he's too expensive as a force multiplier. Because you could say, well, actually, I'm not bringing Gazgol for Gazgol. I'm bringing him just to buff my... Because um, I'm going to bring him with Goths, uh, make him all re-roll. Um, and then he's giving them all the extra attacks as well. Um, I'm going to go that route. And he's just going to be good because of that. Well, I, I still don't believe at that point that he's he's just too expensive. Yeah. Um, I, I, I just, yeah, I'm not, I'm, I'm not convinced... That he's he's competitive. I, I think he's, you know, you can put him on some mid tables, and you know, the alt codex I think has got enough strength in depth for for him for him to do okay. But I, he he's not a top tier build. I don't think. I don't think. So let's bring in little Makari then. So little Makari um, <laughs> at sixty five points. What does he do then? Well, um, he he gives he gives a six up for no pain. Um, okay, and and he has a two up invon, so he's a bit of a troll. Yeah, the two up invon's amazing, isn't it? Because he's just it he's is. only got he's got four wounds, he's but he can still wounds. sit there and and yeah. like I've I've faced those stupid friggin' knobhead um, dark eldar guys on two up invon's. Yeah, you just you just keep rolling, but there's nothing that stops him from rerolling that two up. No, whereas there, you can't. No, it's true. No, exactly. So you're going to spend a CP for that first reroll. He could sit and take. He could honestly take on a bane blade. 
Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. The, the, the trick is with him, isn't it? You literally would, like, um, if you can put him, like, because say he could go in against someone like Magnus. Um, cause what, sit there for hours. Well, yeah, because what Magnus has got, like, six or seven attacks, um, but he's only ever going to do those six or seven attacks because he doesn't have any way to break him down to more. Um, and then for each one, he has that two-up involve with a re- with a reroll, um, you know. And actually, what's he got? Uh, and so Magnus does flat free damage on his uh, <coughs> things. Yeah, so so he, so so he could potentially hold up Magnus for ages. <laughs> of course, Ma- what Magnus will do is just psychic psychic kill him. But that's that's neither here nor there. It's just the there there will be opportunities that for those points well, he can be a takes- right troll. Yeah, to t- take that away, he could go toe to toe with with any Smash Captain. Oh yeah, absolutely, one hundred. He's not gonna he's not gonna kill the Smash Captain, is he? But he's, he's he could not. do it. But he's gonna stop. The thing is, it, it's the the trick with him is particularly if something's coming in that's threatening your nasty stuff. He can just tie stuff up. He's just a tie up, like you know. He just w- w- would you take him just for just for trolling purposes? I think if you got if you got the points, why not? You know, like I think one one. I think, what, I think why would you even, not? Even a two-up pinball, you could just run him forward onto a bloody objective. Do you know that the the ITC mission where you have to have heroes on objectives? Yeah, oh, there true. you go. True. Come after me. Come after yeah, me, nobeds. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I think he's. I think he's worth. Like if you if you've got those points in your li- list, I think like why would like why would you not just chuck him in there? I think he he he'll probably give you fairly good value for money quite a lot quite a lot of time. Just be um, a troll as well. It's just be nothing more frustrating than some <laughs> stupid little frigging grot. Tanking every single thing you throw at him. Yeah. Oh, that that would annoy yeah, I me. I like him. I like him. I like him. I think yeah. And then, <laughs> I think he's good. And then for, for reasons which we discussed beforehand, they've now yeah. put the big mech in here. So they've taken him out of the index and they've put him back in, haven't they? That's what that's all we can ascertain for the the new big mech. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't. Hundred percent. I mean, if people know and we're missing it, then obviously again, let us know in the comments and stuff like that. But um, you know, I it, it nice of them to do it because we you know. I, include himself in this as all it's only players. 55 points and he gives you a nine inch five up which is great it's a silly which is really cool because before we, we lost that when we um when they took away the when they basically legend the old guy that did it which was the same unit um it meant that you then had to take him in um like the mega knob armor which was a bit of a pain in the bum so uh yeah it's quite it's quite cool that we've got him back so like thank you thank you games workshop um, appreciate that, but uh, I don't really different. know why. No, yeah, well, no, he looks exactly the same. No difference <laughs> at all. So fair enough. Fair yeah, enough. we'll take it. Um, so yeah. So what what do we jump into next? Stratagems, and there's your custom jobs. So we've already yes. ascertained when reading it, it's now an or. See, the, the wording is very poor because what it yes, I, I, I we, we had this before because what it says is it says you ha- you have your mech workshop, yeah, which unlocks one of these things. And yeah. then it says in addition, and in addition means on top of. Yeah, you so have you, to have one to to to, to the get unlock. the second part of the, <laughs> the 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 sentence. So so that actual that wording is is just poor. What they should say instead of saying in addition, they just to say alternatively you can use this stratagem, right? Alternative yeah. is 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 or, right? It's, 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 it's not it's, it's not it's like you, Simon, walking into walking into a um in, in into a pub, um and the barman saying. Can I get you another beer? And you're like, hang on a minute. But what? I've just walked in. But can yeah. I get you another beer? But, but I've not had one yet. <laughs> <You Whoa. know? laughs> We're going to get stuck into a catch-22 here, my friend. What are you talking about? I need to have a beer before you can offer me another one. Exactly. And that's kind of, and that's it. So, and I think, but, and then you get to the bit at the start, which makes it super clear and super like thing when it literally says, you know, or use the stratagem. You think, oh, that's brilliant. Well, yeah. that, that answers everything. Why not write the other rule like that? Write that? Yeah, exactly. It's just, it frustrates me sometimes. So so here's your custom jobs, and it does exactly that. It lets you take another custom job, or just one custom job, because honestly, are you going to take a mech boy workshop? No. No. Not when I can spend one CP, because if there's one thing orcs don't fucking have any shortage of, it's CP normally, right? They normally have millions of them. This is correct. Um, they're normally all gone by turn two, but that's not the point. The point also, is that... Also correct. Also true, but one CP to get a, to get an upgrade. I haven't looked at the upgrade yet. I don't know if there's anything worth taking, but you were always going to do that. Yeah. So then, is it is this is this then? So here we go. So here's another one. That cleverest boss. Use your strategy before the battle. Select one big mech. Add one to that model's wounds and attacks, and changes ballistic weapon skill to two. Why why are you going to do that? 
No, we're not. You know, are you? You don't want your mech boy attacking people or doing anything stupid. So the the only reason why you might do that is because because what it, it's it's mech right. So that's the key word is mech, isn't it? It's big mech is the right. key word. So um, the so that big, big mech with force field. Yeah, no, no, no. no I'm not, five... Yeah, but it's more the fact your warlord or who it, or is with your um, souped up shocker. Who, who everyone's going to take is a big mech with a okay. with a um, with a shock attack gun. Does that um, extra wound help? Yeah, I mean... because it's it, he's going to get sniped. Because if you've got a sniper in your army, <coughs> you're shooting that at him every single turn until he goes away. Having yeah, extra wound true. actually is good is good value. So actually, I think I'll take that back. I think it's probably worth it every single time with that shock attack gun guy because you just want him to last as long as you possibly can yeah i had no snipers and that was the death of me but anyway um what have we got now grot bumper um <laughs> they tie grots to the front of vehicles god i love orcs <laughs> um except this is on a boom daka snaz wagon which means it immediately so, ceases so to have any relevance it's a, it's a fucking cool stratagem it's a shit unit that you're never gonna take <laughs> Yeah, that's basically it. Um, use a stratagem in your opponent's shooting phase when an attacker's made of a ranged weapon successfully wounds it. Basically, you automatically patch your save and throw. Great. Just throw some, just throw, throw some grots away. But who's going to be shooting at the boom deck of Snazwak in, in the first place, right? Well, no one's because you've got to have one of your list <laughs> first and you ain't going to have one of your list because it's shit. Yeah, it's not great. Um, now, onto a unit that is pretty good, your Shock Jump Jagster. I like right. this, you like this. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not bad. It's, it's, not it's, bad. The, it's the second best, yeah. It's all right. Yeah. Um, and this is quite cool. I do like this. This is good. So, so it's you just spend a shame because they split. But yeah, go for it. Go on, carry on. Because he, he immediately does his jump, doesn't he? Yes. Yeah, so it's really, really good. Um, because you, you generally want them jumping and then charging. It's a really, really cool little um, rule. Um, the problem is there are one little unit that's not particularly hard to can kill. Um, they don't do that many attacks. They don't do that much damage. Uh, if they're, you... more, they're more a harassment unit, aren't they? They just snazz around <laughs> they the place. Are. They are. I think that you, you might take one of those. If you do take one, this is a cool way to make it a little bit, bit better. Um, so yeah, I think it's I think it's good. I think it's it's it it makes you think one. I might chuck it one in there. I don't think they're cheap enough personally to make still be viable. But if they were a little bit cheaper, this is a good stratagem for them. I quite like it. Yep. And here's 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 your this stratagem is going to get used every time. I would have suspected, which is your war boss. Yes. So select your war boss. Add one to the model's wounds and attacks, and it gains a four of invul. And the big catch uh, at the end. What's the big catch at the end? Uh, only if you don't have Gaz Cool Fracker, so you're never going to take Gaz Cool. <laughs> not, not, not in what, not in a competitive field. Yeah, that's 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 what ruins it, <laughs> big time. Because this, this, the great thing about this as well is what they didn't um, legend. Uh, they didn't legend the um, war boss on a war bike, um, and the war boss on a war bike already has like six wounds. Um, yeah, but that, that, that's just because you use the the Forge World, the exactly. guy that used to have a special yeah. rules. That that's yeah. become he's actually listed as just War Boss on War Bike now, isn't he? So he is, he is. So, so that's basically he, that is that. So there is a model that exists. You can still buy it. So I suppose there's no need to legend it. Well, the thing is, so that that model does still also have rules for the named character that it does represent as well. Um, yeah, it's weird, isn't it? But they do sell it as War Boss right. on War Bike. It doesn't actually, Absolutely. he's not sold as a special character anymore. No, he's not. He's not. This is really Because I know, because I bought one. I bought yeah. one back when I, back, back when I had an Orc Army before I sold it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, so yeah, and, and he's pretty chunky, right? And an extra attack and a four up impulse doesn't hurt him at all, does it? Oh, so good. So good. Because that was the big thing with him. Is um, he'd get Never having an impulse. Yeah. Yeah, because you, you generally give him the nasty big old claw. Um, you give him the the flat free oh, damage. That, 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 that special claw, the killer claw, yeah. Yeah. the dead killer claw. Um, so you give him that, you chuck him at something, he kills that something, and then he dies afterwards. The fact that now he has that additional wound of survivability and a four up in bomb means he might actually hang about, um, and he does an awful lot of damage. Um, so that's yeah, for me, that's that's like a given. I'm 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 taking that every single time on my guide bike. Um, and he is loving it that. Even, it didn't even need to be your warlord. That's such a weird. Yeah, I know. 
So you would have thought he'd have to be your warlord because he can't you never, be that biggest boss. He's not the warlord. No, because no, you never you wanted to be, you wanted just, to be a suicide. But it's just a, but it's a very <laughs> odd stratagem, isn't it? it is. that, that you become that biggest boss, but you aren't the warlord. I think it's just it seems very, very, very weird. So here we go. What's this clever spanner? Oh Jesus, a lot. One looter this is or good. Burner Boy. This is good. This so is very, you only even take good. looters. Yes. Uh, do you ever take Burner Boys? Like no. ever? No. Oh, shit. Don't take. Uh, this is amazing. Da, 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 da. This is amazing. Da, 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 da. You can roll one additional dice and discard one with a number of shots. Oh, that's pretty cool. And amazing. Absolutely incredible. So do you roll one dice for the whole unit, or yes. every dice for every one? One dice so that, for the so, whole unit. So you just get to basically re-roll that. So if you roll a one and a two, you re-roll it. So it's a it's a one CP. Is that? Is that well? I suppose so because it because lets you, you can re -roll save one your one CP reroll. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It lets you re let, let you save your one CP reroll for something else because you can't yeah. reroll that dice again. It's been rerolled. Uh, no, because but... you roll two dice, so you can. So the the thing is, so the stratagem is you roll two d six and you choose which one. one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so so you could then spend so one CP then, to reroll yeah. one of them if yeah. it was if they were really dross. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. True. So if you yeah. do this, because what you've probably done before then is you've spent the um, the CPs for the uh, more more decker, so exploding on fives and sixes. So when you've invested those two CPs on that, you really want to make sure at least it's the two two shots. Uh, yeah. And if you roll a you know a couple of ones, so then you you you're going to re-roll one of those, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So so yeah, yeah I think yeah. it's. Uh, I think it gives you real real good value for money. I like it a lot. I think it's yeah. it's really strong. Yeah. You pick your unit, but I, I, a lot of people were. I started to only run one unit of looters anyway, so there's no hardship, is it? No, I, I, I think, think multiple units. Are. Yeah, yeah not the, the, the old the old multiple units of looters kind of disappeared pretty quickly, didn't it? Like well, one in space, one on the floor. It, it just it's because they stopped you from mobbing them up. So the they used to be able to run two and then mob them together, but they now made it so you can only mob boys. You can't mob any other orc infantry, um, which is the main death of the multiple units. Yeah, that's yeah. fair. Yeah. What's that, that? That burning highway for a custom booster blaster. Uh, yeah, nope. no idea. Nope. Next, yeah, real crap. <laughs> real crap. God, it says literally good, bad, good, bad, good so far. It, We're doing yeah. Well. Yeah. What's this next one? Flying Edbo. Oh, this is the one. Yeah, this, this is the fun. one that just basically just automatically blows up your um. <laughs> yeah, your flyer. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, I and like if you this. take the if you take the it does a lot of damage. Yeah, it does D6 models or something. D6, yeah. I mean, it's you don't want to just do it at the start. I mean, obviously, I think it's a bit of a waste. I think you've got to you've got to time it right. But knowing that, you've always got that potential just to be able to do it. Like if you get down to like one or two wounds left, then yeah, let's just throw them away now. It's great. It's great. I love it. It's it's very cool. It's very it's very very orky. It's not particularly OP. Um, it's perfect. It's really, really cool, and it's situationally very strong. So Would like you it. just fly one forward to turn one and just dump him? There's no point, is there? Yeah, is I don't there? think. I yeah. if... No, no, I don't think so. I don't. If, think it, so. if they've castled up, though, you could do because it's a, is it six inches? Yeah, maybe. D six more wounds. Yeah, I suppose it, you could do. It, it, it's situation. It's situationally good in that. In that, I just think it's cool. Like it's just cool. I think the flyers are not bad. bad. Um, particularly taking them in. There was quite a lot of people who were taking them in the uh, flash kits. Um, because they're the flyers are a little bit more accurate than than most of the other units, so you could actually make them hit quite accurately. Um, so you might have a few knocking around in a fairly competitive list, and then this just gives you another little tactic which potentially could be viable. So I think it's really cool. It's very orky. It's very fun. It's great. I like it. It's cool. Yep. 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 Full speed lads. Or biker or death killer war trike. Add one to the strength. It's all right. That's that's all, all right. right. Cause I, yeah, yeah, and I quite like that Death Killer War Trait too. He hits fairly hard, and he suffers from the same problem that others. Are. I'm sure he's only strength seven. He is only strength seven. So if you can get him up to strength eight, that that does help with his claw thing. But it does. I don't know. You're right. I think the Orc Bikers, because Orc Biker is that's not Knob Bikers though, is it? They're a different. That's a different keyword, right. isn't it? Yeah. That's yeah. Right. Uh, maybe. Maybe. So it's all, it's all nice to have it. I suppose it's all nice to have it. It's not bad. So what's the Blitzer Bomber? So this is the Squig Bomb stratagem. This um, is good. After moving this is the Blitzer good. Bomber, add one to the rolls made for the model's Boom Bomb ability. It, I don't basically, know, Basically, 
it's your typical fly over the top of something, roll so many dice, and on a like four or five plus, you get a do to a mortal wound. Oh, so it's, it's like a mortal wound, like, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. It's just it's, it's oh, your well. typical flyer, but I like it because I've been using my tail flyers, um, and they're really, really good. And this just, I, I have a newfound respect on units that do this, so I can see how effective that additional plus one is going to be. So I think this is yeah. actually really good as well. I really think it's, I rate it. Um, yeah. Particularly as you then got something that you can you can fly it over the top, stop not too far away, and then blow it up next time. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All of those wonderful things that you can do. Exactly. Special shells, so flash kits. I can't remember this the last good. time I saw them. Really okay, good. interesting. They're good, um, and they actually suffer from their range not being too strong. Um, I think the range is only twenty four inches. Um, so this is really good because it then means they're actually. I'll oh, take them to thirty six. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's two CP though. It's quite expensive. Yeah, but they hit quite hard. They're like, um, I think they're like, they're like they're plasma like... guns, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Two two damage, D three damage. Are. Can't remember. Yeah, 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 they are. They're only they're only strength five, but they're two damage each. Yeah, but a d decent minus, isn't it? Minus two. Yeah, minus, minus three. two, minus two, I believe. So yeah. Oh, they, well, yeah, thirty six inch they're... range. You're right. Yeah. It's good. And a d yeah, are, are they D three shots? Um, this is all from memory. Each, I think. I can, okay. let's, let's, uh, let me have a look because I've got the old codex. I think here. On my okay. thing, so all right. Well, whilst we're doing that, well, I, oh, here we go. Your favourite unit, the Stomper. <laughs> no, um, but also, also. Not yes, you're more Knorts, I know, my but I just favourite went, unit. <laughs> I, w I went for the Stomper first because I knew full well that nobody ever takes them, and they're very sad. Oh no, wait, Val did, didn't he? Did he yeah. take one just for a laugh? He did all right with it. He, he won more than one game, so well done, Val. Um, uh, the Snaz guns are heavy three, heavy three, yeah, heavy three, probably. minus two, two damage, and they're twenty four inches as, as as I thought. So they're strength six, so they're strength six, minus two, that's, two damage, that's, and that's good. Now thirty six inch heavy three, that's that's really good. I think I think it's solid. How, how many of them can you take? Like ten. Um, you can take. Uh, where is it? So they come with you know five. You can take a another five. So yeah, you can take ten. Okay, that's not bad then. Yeah, it's good. So what's that? Thirty shots. Yeah. 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 I I think they're, gonna, can... they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna mow through sort of your primarity type, you know, to, to double wound um, type models, aren't they? They're just they're strong enough and decent enough AP to do a lot of damage to that. Yeah, and Especially with that the, many shots. And the um. If you take them in flash gits, because flash gits you can take flash gits, gits in another thing and they don't break the the, the yeah whatever. But if you took them in actual flash gits and something else um, wounded the target first, then they get like plus one to to hit or something. Yeah, it can be so, anything as well. So you yeah. can just pick a pick a wound off of anything. Yeah, can't you? yeah, yeah. So they 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 can be really quite nasty. I think they're uh, yeah they're good. Um, what's this? And if you take the um, captain Badra up with them. And he he re -roll, he makes them re-roll ones the shooting phase as well. Yeah, all right. So I think you stick him next to them, and, and then they're all now longer range. They can do work. I like them. Really good. They could. I know, they, they could. Strong. They could. I. They could sit in some sort of truck slash wagon and shoot out that as well if they wanted to, couldn't they? They could. They could. Yeah. So if you wax them in a battle wagon, well, you probably won't battle wagon. Would you just put them in a truck maybe just for a bit of maybe, maybe put them in a truck maybe put them just just a bit of protection. Yeah. Maybe. The walks, the walks, the walks don't actually really children. care about. Just the the walks. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. And what, and just keep your looters up in space. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. or don't, or don't take looters. You know, potentially. Whoa, that is controversial. It is controversial, but potentially, you know, maybe so pack guns instead. Yeah, so this this is your patch up. So Gorkonaut, Morkonaut, no one's going to take oh, the stomper. Let's be honest. It just yeah. gives you double 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 wounds. I mean, it's good, so good. It's just an additional. It... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It just, yeah, well, it just I suppose I, I'm an Iron Hands player, so yes, I, I yeah. understand that that is quite strong. Yeah, because you don't want them things getting worse because they they're not like, I mean, they're good, but you know you, the, you don't want them getting worse, do you? That's the thing. Like, this, well, I'm just having a look at now. So the Gorkonal, uh, when it goes down to its its first profile, it loses an attack and it loses more importantly it loses a weapon skill. So it normally hits on threes, it goes to hitting on fours. Um, yeah. And it and it loses a bit of movement. It goes from eight to six, and then its lowest profile, which it will never really get to, um, it will be um, hitting on fives with only four attacks. So, so, so how how many wounds do, can you eight, go down to eight, before you care? 
Um, so the lowest bracket is four to one wounds. Uh, so, how many is so? How many wounds does it start with? It starts with eighteen. And what's the top bracket? Um, the top bracket is d- up to ten. So d- down to five wounds then. So you've yeah. got to get it down. You got to get it down onto the bottom bracket before it even yeah. degrades at all. Yeah, which is amazing. Yeah, it's pretty decent. I really it's like it because I just think the Gorkman is so good. I, I nobody really rates it. I think it's amazing. I think it's so good. Put in, put in a teleporter. It can drop down. You can roll three d six with a stratagem um, for its charge. When it goes in, it, it can do tons of work. It can do like the the normal kind of like the gallant gallant kind of stampy feet thing. Um, but the stampy feet are much better because the stampy feet do flat two damage rather than d three. Yeah, uh, um, I just think it's great. I think it's really really strong. I think it's, and it's it's not that expensive. Um, it really I think it fits great. I'm I'm a huge huge fan. But uh, awesome, yeah. Okay. And then this makes it better. This makes it even better. Uh, so then we've got a 2CP Unstoppable Momentum. Uh, use a stratagem in this charge phase. When an orb unit for your army has finished a charge move and dealt one or more mortal wounds to an enemy unit. This is okay. weird. This one's really weird, and I'm struggling to think when it would ever come up. So you need to be able to deal a mortal wound to but be you know, able to make not only work. that, but yeah, not only that, you also have to then deal a mortal wound and then not have the unit within an inch. If that orc unit is no longer within an inch of the unit, it can immediately be chosen to charge with a cane. That's so situational. What does a mortal wound on the charge? Gas so the, no. It's not. The Gorkonok can do it. So the Gorkonok can do it with, um, it uses the stratagem, there are two plus it does a mortal wound. But what are you likely to clear, like, that you want to charge? I just don't. It's so but, situational. The, other the problem that, is, is I'm not going to take the model no, away. That makes no, me one not. inch away, am I? Of course you're so not. I'm going to take um, it in the back. Of course you are. Um, and then there's all, the... all that's going to let you do is charge again, which yeah. then means you've got more chance to do some more mortals and you're going to get it to come back anyway. So there's no, I'm not going to escape it. No. Yeah, and, then, so and, then, and then the um, Storm Boys, I think, can do it as well when they do they, their they jetpack jump bit. Um, but again, why am I, why am I going no, to... Exactly. No, or, or, exactly. unless you physically well, I suppose if you just pick on the weak units, maybe. But it's but so just, situational. Like, it's just by, by which point weird... you've already you've already won. You know, when you yeah. start to get to that, I'm picking off the little units. Yeah, yeah, hard. I just, very, I very don't. Hard. I really don't understand it. I don't understand why it was written. I don't get it. To be honest, yeah, I just think very, it doesn't very, even very feel odd. like majorly kind of like orky the rule. I just. And it's two CP as well. It's like it's yeah, exactly. Like, it's supposed would... to be good. Just very, no. very odd. But maybe very someone's. Odd. If if we're missing something, let us know what we're missing because. And it, and now here's your wildfire one. So this this is the one which is your burner bomber again. Um, now this is the interesting one. It doesn't stack with the arsonist subculture because initially. So this this is like our our mate hobo was. He's been banging on about this for friggin' ages because he's all sorts of things you can do with these burner bombers. Um, and he definitely, he definitely thinks this has like got a lot of play, um, and I see it because it's basically you, you get to choose another unit to to mortal wound. Mm-hmm. So I get it, but it's only on five pluses, and you can't make that any better. But yeah. he's 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 on about he can make the first set go off on freeze or something, and then this you get a second set of fires for free. I suppose it's going to work really well if you've got that sort of tower type, ploughed yeah. together kind of castle. But Possibly. again, it's just yeah, yeah, it's not super it, strong. I think. Yeah, it's I suppose right. it's only one CP. If it's if you've got the opportunity, then why not? It feels all right. Um, it feels all right. It doesn't feel amazing. Because you drop the bombs in your movement phase, right? You do. So you fly over, drop your bombs, yep. do it twice, and then at the end of the movement phase, you blow him up. So I suppose you could do a big pile of mortal wounds. You but could. I, it's very odd. It's going to be very difficult to do that turn one type thing, isn't it? And there's one thing Tau don't struggle with: it's shooting shit out of the sky. So it, I just you sit yeah, there and think, be alive. It ain't gonna be yeah, alive. so you, you're going to have to throw it right in front and centre and just hope for the best. Um, don't know. Odd. Do you, do you have to fly over the thing to drop yes. the burner bombs? Oh, I don't know. I'm not sure about the burner bombs. To be fair, uh, let me have a look. Let's have a look. Seeing I had it open in front of me, we it would be silly not to have a look. Because uh, I don't know if it's like a dive bomber type thing where it drops the bomb in front, or if it's like a normal bomber which is then drops behind. And orcs are always a bit weird. Because um, blitzer, I think the blitzer bomber is the one that goes over the top. I think. 
So it's let's... the burner bomber, the more of the sort of the dive bomber, Stuka esque one. So the burner bomber, here we go. Right. So burner bombs um, up to twice per battle. So you can do it twice, full stop. This model can drop a burner bomb as it flies over an enemy unit over, in its yeah. move in it yeah in its movement phase after the after the model's moved select an enemy unit uh, that it's moved over roll a d6 for each model in the unit up to 10 add one if the uh, if it's infantry and uh, for each roll of a five plus they suffer a mortal wound yeah so you get it up to four plus naturally then you can give it an extra plus one with a strat or with the arsonist thing so you can get it up to freeze i see that but you're going to fly over it it's yeah. it's less it's less especially now we seized on so i can set up in a in a fairly aggressive slash defensive way if i want to yeah and then you who are going second will deploy your burner bombers that's fine but you can't jump me so you can't seize the initiative and jump me now which is i suppose that's always the sort of the, the risk reward that going first used to have um you want to be aggressive you want to leave space behind blah 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 blah, blah. but now if i know that can happen i know i've got a turn of shooting and it's pretty hard to hide flyers, to be honest. Even even in the most sort of densely terrainy type boards, it's still quite hard. And there's quite a lot of units that can just knock it out of the sky fairly easily. I, I, I don't know. I, I think there's some play in it. Don't get me wrong. I just, it's not and terrible. Someone bring, and, and someone will bring eight, right? Or whatever the bloody number you can bring. Because I'm sure you can bring them in squadrons of three, can't you? Um, um, I think. Can you? There are the individual units that burn the bombers. I think one of them. Individuals. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, individuals. Yeah. So yeah, so three of them. I I don't know. You you know, it's one of those things. Any time you can drop mortal wounds on somebody, I suppose it's handy. Um, you know that from the tower, but it's not terrible at all. They're not cheap. Yeah, they're, they're, oh, sorry, they are cheap, aren't they? They're not expensive flyers. What hundred and summit points? Yeah, not a great not, deal. Yeah, they're not. They're not too bad. I mean, they only have a four up save rather than the three up. They got twelve wounds though. They're, they're, they're all right. You know, I don't. I think. I think they're. It's. It's fair to say that they've got play. Um, I just don't necessarily well, think that they're like super strong. The thing is, this struggle with what all planes struggle with, which is you've got to line it up, and if you're smart and you're clever, you can effectively cut off their flight paths. Which is why, in the end, I went for the Storm Talons because I could always go into hover. Because invariably, what will happen is with the with the Stormhawk interceptors, is your your flight path either you either have to sacrifice them to get the kill, i.e., I know I'm going to fly off the board next turn because I can't really do much about it, or I have to break off and go in a different direction as, as what I wanted to and potentially start to know full well that the next turn I'm probably going to be out of the game. Um, and all flies are kind of similar because they don't have the ability to double turn like an Eldar does. Um, yeah, and you, you have only even, really got and, one crack at it. Yeah, and you're even less likely <clears> when it's um, something that's dedicated to bombing because it restricts what you're going to do with it even more um because you're not going to skirt around the side you need to be fairly direct in your positioning for them so i think it, that even more so because I've, I've used them myself obviously quite recently quite a lot um and it does you do you do have to kind of accept that they have even more of a limited life um because yeah. of it because just because of their battlefield role so yeah it's uh but yeah look, i think yeah. it's, it's it's not bad it isn't bad i think it's fairly decent and it'd definitely be fun. And if people don't play it right, it has the potential to do a fair bit of damage. So it's it, it's not terrible. You know? So here's the next one, which sounds awesome. Dreaded Death Machine. That's the best strategy we've had in ages. Yeah. Um, but then it says Death Dreads, mm -hmm. and I get lost. Yeah. I can't remember what a Death Dread is. Yeah, it's the one. Is that just like a normal Dreadnought, or is yes. it a bigger one? Yeah, it's the, it's, it's the one that's like a normal Dreadnought. It's the one that's bigger than a Killer Can. Smaller than the normal with, 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 with four arms, it's got four arms, yeah. So it can have yeah. like, uh, lots of so attacks. Just, just, just a standard dreadnought. So yeah, when it kills cool. a thing, it gets to immediately attack again. But again, I mean, you, you can't really go shooting with those things, can you? Because orcs, unless it's no. big blobs of stuff with loads of attacks, you're not really going to go that way. So close no. combat, it ain't, ain't going to yeah. get there, is it? Well, you put it in a teleporter. And you, Again, you, but you, 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 how many how many CP have you spent now on teleport? Too many, spent, too many. So that's you, it, isn't it? So, and then so you got to spend another CP to make it do it. And yeah, it, oh, it's no, actually the fight phase, so it's not even shooting. So it is literally the fight phase. So does it say unit? It says when a death death dread unit female army is chosen to fight until the end of phase, each time an enemy model is destroyed. So basically, yeah, you'd fire them off in the teleporter, drop so them this, down. 
charging. The interesting, so it's a well, the interesting thing is this unit contains one diff drift, can include one additional or two additional. So actually, you have it got. It does say a, death dreads. So yeah, so you could pop. Yeah, yeah. Can you pop a unit of three in the top Yes, four? yes, you can. Christ, all right. Okay. And, and and then you have actually got a lot of attacks because so they they only have one attack base, but then for each claw, um, where is it? Um, yeah, each time the bearer fights, it can make one additional attack with each with each dead claw. Um, it's equipped with, so you can be equipped with four. So it's um so then gives you six attacks. So six attacks and they are what's the claw? The claw is times two strength. So it's normally strength so it goes up to strength ten. So three of them so, yeah. doing that. It's, it's... Yeah, and you can make them charge because they're a vehicle, you can make them charge on three D six and they've still got um here we go, so they can reroll that as well. So okay. they can come in so they can come in from teleporter, come in nine inches away, um, and then charge, charge three d six, do mortal wounds on two pluses when they make contact, um, and then potentially be absolute blenders, and then attack again. So actually, there's maybe some play there. Oh, well, that could be something interesting. Um, they will then die cause... miserably <laughs> after that. Yeah, but. Uh, but, I they're not a huge amount of points, are they? I think when you, got, when you got you just three, go close combat, they're quite cheap, aren't they? Uh, not cheap enough. I think they might have got a points decrease. So in chapter okay. three, so they they might be viable. Um, I'll as we carry on, I'll just I'll chuck it in battle scribe and I'll see see what see what comes up. Um, but uh, but yeah, it's um, that might have some play actually. When we think about it, there I didn't when I was looking through it, I, I I didn't I forgot the fact that you could take them in units of three, um, and actually that becomes it, it, it's interesting because maybe a unit of three, if they come down enough in points and they, um, yeah, they, they, that might be an argument to say that's better value than the than the Gorkonaut with, with three of them. This this could be interesting. So you you price yeah. that up, mate, and then I think we've got the last. Is this the last? Yeah, the last stratagem. Hit them harder, which is Mega Knobs. Uh, I love this seen, one. Do you actually love it? I've never seen Mega Knobs in play. I just I just don't. I just don't they're know. not bad. They're not bad. Mm. They they only get a two up save though, right? There's no invul. There's no invul. But I mean, right. you could have a guy with the cast of force field with them. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Um, which makes them just basically cause our terminators, right? So when a mega knob unit is chosen to fight with at the end of the phase, add one to the damage characteristic of melee weapons. That is, that is all right. I really like good. That. Really good. Um, so because my biggest gripe, right? And this is my soapbox, right? My biggest gripe. And it's going to get even more so when we get onto the next page when we start talking about the custom cult specialist things. Yeah. Is that I always thought of the orcs as being a crumping close combat army, and they basically become the Tau. <laughs> That's what's happened, and and it kind of really annoys me because you've got drones, i.e. grots, um, which just mob around things. You've got three big bloody just three HQ characters that shoot lots with big, stupid frigging guns. Um, well, they just sound like tower commanders to me. And then you've just got a massive frigging a gun line. And you just think it's just like a worse quality, but more shots tower gun line. And I think uh, it's just, I, is that, I don't know if that's by accident or by design, because obviously players will always give themselves the best chance to win. I understand that. Mm-hmm. But it just it just looks turd. It just looks so bad in the battlefield. We just see this. You know, I just think I sent you a picture, and I know you played it that way as well. Just ginormous some green blob in the middle of the battlefield. It just uh, with grots interspersed with other things, and, and you just think I can't tell what's going on. All I know is there's three guys in there with shock attack guns. One of them is a super shock attack gun. There is now tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons, and tons of mech guns, and just grots, grots everywhere. God, this is sort of like my my sort of big complaint was 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 exactly that, isn't it? It's like you, they're not they're just like a a poor man's tau army with a big amorphous blob of shit with drones, i.e. grots, you know, tau commanders, i.e. mechs with big stupid guns. I know big stupid guns are daft. That super shocker just winds my tits right up because it just is. If it rolls hard, it's ridiculous. 
Well, it does the most damage that any gun, single gun, in 2,000 points can do in the game. And I had no snipers. That's my own daft fault. I get it. But that that stupid gun, just on its own, wiped me out. It can do. Nothing else did any damage. It's maximum amount of damage. I worked it out because I used it for a quiz the other day because I was trying to work out why I was going to ask for a question. Um, And it can do up to 104 wounds of damage in one volume of shooting. And it could then shoot again if it wanted to. So I can well, it, it, that's very obviously that's never going to happen. But it wiped my my big floating tank out in one in one volley. So it it is that, and I've got a five up in bull against mortals and all the shit that goes with it, and it still just absolutely smoked me. You got eleven shots on strength eleven. Yeah, just just yeah. absolutely lethal, and I just I just couldn't stand up to it because even because I was on five up in bulls for everything, and every one that gets through is just doing crazy ass damage and it's oh, just actually like... it can do more than that it can do more than 104 it does 104 if it just hit with all of its hits and didn't generate any addition yeah yeah, yeah. So, I know so it could what, actually do I mean... a load more than that it could it so... could probably do well it, it could probably do about 200 200 points oh he was daft because he, he he rolled i think he hit with eight as well i think he got eight eight total yeah which is three, daft... three mortals for each one yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So that just was like literally brutal. And then, then E6 damage for each one that gets through. <laughs> yeah, and, and quite a lot got through. So it was just like, well, my tank's dead. Fucking great. That's ridiculous. Um, and, I, and, look, uh, I don't not disagree. Much do. I don't, yeah, look, I don't. I don't. The it, when, when 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 something is absolutely nailed on in every single list you ever see, there's a problem. My, right? I think there is a problem. It's either not expensive enough, yes, or it's too good. Yeah. It's one one of the two things. Yeah, um, it's probably think... not expensive enough is the problem because it actually it still is fairly situation because it, it it's it's a lot of luck for it to go that hot and it, you know in a tournament it should go that hot but it probably shouldn't go like that each game um even with the even with but it it's shooting twice. It, yeah, but it's a chance that it can and that's the problem. Yes, it's, it's, it's when more when it, points, it, more of an investment it, to have that because when it does, it's it just pick kills. a target, kill it. It dies. Yeah, yeah. It, it brings down knights, brings down anything. It's just, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't stand up to that thing. And it's just, he's only, what, 100 points of that? It's not yeah, even 100 it's, points. It's 80 yeah, it's not points. even that. 80 points 80. plus one CP. It's Well, two CP, sorry, because you have to get the relic normally, don't you? So, uh, yeah, you, 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 just, no, you invest a lot of CPs in him generally because you want to probably do Daka Daka and you want to shoot him again. So oh, you, I get you, all you, of Yeah, you, yeah. You, you, still you, I mean, yeah, you, you invest a lot of CPs in him to make him and you give him the Warlord trait so he wounds monsters. Yeah, and yeah, monsters wounds monsters. and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's, it, yeah, 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 yeah. This, it, he is he is bust, but you do it's a big, big investment and you can get, he does nothing. I mean, if you talk to Darren, he, he has actually gone hot for him now, I think at one tournament, but he drops him from his list like, because he literally did nothing for him for so long. Um, because you just got fed you up. Can't, you just can't. You can't drop him. He's too. He's too. The chance that he's gonna go hot. Yeah. And I, I know it, it's on an eleven. It's, it's, it's on that, eleven or twelve. It it's is. only what a. It's like a, a one in. That's what a one in six. Yeah. I think that's yeah. a one in six, right? Yeah. Well, well it's probably more so because it's two dice. But then it's so the shots probably... as well because you need the shots as well because then yeah, if you roll lucky roll eleven, hot, roll hot. Yeah, 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 but when it happens, it's just brutal because oh, yeah. you can't stand up to it. No, you can't. And, you can't. and it only has to happen once. That's the thing. If it happens turn one, it kills then your your whatever the thing you've got is dead, and then you suddenly you're up an uphill battle because it'll just snipe off little things. It'll snipe off units. Fuck it. It even just wipes out units. It's just like, oh, what? Yes. It just it just kills anything, and you're just like, why don't you just fucking leave me be? Um, you know, it's and the annoying thing is, even if it only goes strength three and you get 12 shots, the odds of you wounding stuff and doing big damage is still fucking there, yeah, because you're plus like, one to uh, wound, plus yeah, one. you're still it's wounding strength. on bloody fives. Why yeah. don't you fuck off, leave me alone? <laughs> <laughs> right. me alone Look, okay, prick. we've established that you don't like it, so let's move on, <laughs> meh, 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 meh. right? Okay, specialist mobs, right? Let's let's we can we can so say, pretty so we've, quickly. We've now talked about the good stuff, now we can move over and talk about the shit stuff for the next turn. Uh, no, there's, there's just one, there's one fairly reasonable one in here, I believe. Yeah. Um, so which is your pyromaniacs one which is you re-roll the number of shots for burners, scorchers, burner yeah. bottles burner exhaust, killer jets, scorcher missiles um, and I think it's I think, well, did I see burner bottles burner exhaust, killer jets, where's the burner bombs, oh maybe not maybe that's something else don't know, maybe I've missed maybe I misread that, but it gives you um, basically, you can re-roll the wound which is decent, 
Yes. Um, ah, here you go. This is the burner bombs. Add one to to the to the to the roll. Yeah. Yeah. Which is yeah, good. Some, yeah, it's decent. Yeah. Um, hundreds, because you make it your air wing, wing, won't you? You just do your free. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. you just take yeah, yeah. three bombers in that job done. Yeah. The only thing is, is it doesn't get to you don't get the plus one on the on the additional set of if you go for two units. But still, yeah, every day of the week, hunters, sneaky devils. This sounds pretty cool, but it isn't really infantry models only. Um, whilst you're on or within a terrain feature, get a five of invul. Um, that, that's pretty much it. And whilst you're on and within. Um, the terrain feature, you get an extra one AP. I suppose it could be reasonable. Um, I mean, if you, because I normally speaking, you'd have your shooting models in terrain, wouldn't you? Like your yeah. your looters or your flash kits, I suppose. So I suppose maybe there is some, but you, what you're going to give up to get that? And that's you probably don't want to give up your um, yeah. death. Death score. You take the. Um, the right are normally, isn't it? No, yeah. no, that's um, Bad Moons. Bad Moons is the one ah, that allows moons, you to do showing off. Shoot them, shoot them twice and to reroll ones to hit. Yeah, you're not going to give that up for that, are you? Nope. Let's be honest. No, you're not. So, boom, boys, blow it up. See, like I like a really I bad do... 80s boy band. I like boom this boys. again, but I would not exchange it for Bad Moons. What does it do? Yeah. Rocket. So rockets. Rocket yeah. or stick bomb, and it lets you do what? An extra EP. Yeah, no, I, I'd you. rather I'd rather have the ones hitting because the thing is, orcs don't hit anyway. So I'd rather have a reroll to hit um, than you know to to try and generate extra hits. Um, you know, because I, what I want is I want my daka daka and I want to hit. I don't necessarily want to maybe get the odd extra one through. I want to get more volume. Um, because I, I looked at this and I quite liked it for because as I said I like the idea of mega knobs at the moment. I think with mega knobs with the extra damage, I I like the idea of giving them all rockets and then putting them in the teleporter, dropping them down, then shooting all the rockets and then shooting all the rockets again. Um, and the ability of those rockets to go to minus three seems quite nice. But I still think the math says that rerolling ones with a daka daka is better. Yeah. So I just don't think you take it. I just it's not good enough. It's it's good, it's not good enough. The Flyboys one is yeah, not that great. I nope. think you get you get if you're one inch away so a range of more than one inch away you get an extra save. So you want to a free up save. No. Nope. And then if you hit them in combat, I think. Um nope. you nope. that was more than one inch away at the start of the preceding charge, subtract one. Nope. Yeah, it's not that great. Nope, nope, nope. nope, nope, nope. Grot mobs. This this will only work. Um, well, hang about what? See, this will only work in what? What possible grot things have the vehicle keyword and allows them to reroll hits of one? This this is this is the one that that you're going to see. I think this is where eighteen or whatever the fucking number of stupid friggin' grot mech mecha guns is going to be appear, right? Because they are Gretchen models. They have yeah. the keyword, yeah. Yeah. Reroll hits of one is brutal. Yeah. Because those mech guns don't really benefit from anything right now, right? Because of they, the Gretchen they, rule. They don't, they don't benefit from anything. Yeah. I mean, that's, you know, it is. It's, it, so every day of the week, you're going to yeah. take what? So 18, I, I, 18 I played smasher against, guns. Eight, you're yeah, going to take so eight, played, 18 smasher guns, one HQ, stick them in with that, and then. Yeah. Get, yeah. So and I, if you can take that guy, that little fucking pipsqueak, uh, Makari, as a HQ, yeah. is he an HQ? He, he is, yeah. yeah. So, so you take him as, as, as the. Um, as your HQ slot, and then you take 18 Smasher Guns, and then you make people cry. Well, I played 16 of them, and that stupid fucking shock attack gun. So, lad called Corey, my first game in Vegas, with not great terrain, we've covered that already, I've had a moan about it. Yeah. Anyway, I can't imagine in any world where that, on all of your fucking stupid Smasher Guns, he had 16, I think, it was just fucking stupid. Yeah. Rerolling hits of one on all of them is yeah. just death. Trust. Yeah, yeah, it, 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 yeah, it's it's not nice. It's not nice. It's, and I don't, it's very, I don't it's nice. I, again, I sit there and go, Games Workshop, you, you, must, you are obviously aware of how you people didn't need play to do it. This. You didn't need to do that. <laughs> there was no need. You, that was, was people already had 16 Smasher Guns because they yeah. were already fucking good. Yeah. Why Why did they need to be better? You didn't right? need to so, do that. Yeah, yeah so, you know, the previous one was Flyboys, which is generally shite. Yes. And then 
they give you that one, which is actually an absolutely also include in every way, shape, nor form. Well, yeah, because why would you not? Like, why would you like just make them uh, a thing? You know, it, it's like you know, even if you want to make it battalion because you want all those CPs, you take Macari, you take three units of three units of grunts, and then you yeah. take take that. It's just like yeah, it, it you you because people are already taking them anyway. And because it doesn't stop everything else, because you just take it as one detachment, it is just such a complete and utter no-brainer. And it just makes the ability... And the thing is, they still get Daka Daka. So they still get exploding. Yeah. It's just... It's obscene. It's so, so strong. And it, so and strong. it gives every single model a six or bimble. Yeah. yeah. So it's just like, you don't even need to take... For, for that, because... You, you know, you don't need to now surround them with the with the foot with the mech with the mech guys potentially, because the difference between a six and a five is is you know not that great. Um, <clears throat> and you might as well have your dude with the with the shield on other units and just leave those guys in the back. Just say it's my big huge blob of shit. It's all got a six up involved for reasons that make no fucking sense. Um, and I'm now rerolling hits of one as well. Yeah. So brilliant. And they're not that many points. It's just meh. Makes me annoyed. Right, move on. Tin Eds. Uh, this is Killercan's Death Dreads Mega Armor. Don't know what Mega Armor is. Morkonauts, Gorkonauts, and Stompers. Stompers again. Um, you can Mega roll. Armor is um, thingies. Mega Armor. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, Add one to your hit can... roll. <laughs> would, would would you take a little little group of your Gorkonauts, Morkonauts, or Death Dreads? You could take your Death Dreads and have one to your hit roll. Nah. So you could have a little. Would you not? You have yeah. a little, just a little sub, yeah. a little subgroup. Yeah. No, you're not feeling that. No, not really. Not really. I, I, I mean, the hit roll's always strong, though, isn't it? Especially, especially when you've got the 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 stratagem with the death dredge, which yeah. every hit is an additional hit. Yeah. So maybe maybe it has play. Maybe it has play. Again, I think you you've got the. I think the nice thing with these is is there are quite a lot of good units um, that you can just build a detachment for that unit. Um, and and you've got options here, so I don't. It's definitely not not. I won't write it off. I absolutely wouldn't write it off at all. I mean, okay. you could you could do free it. Free stompers, free stompers, man. You would write oh, that off because <laughs> you could because you couldn't fit it in two K for a stump. Oh, that's a shame. Feral orcs, wild boys. Oh, now we are then to the eighties. Oh, a bit of wild boys. Oh, lovely. Uh, I don't know when 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 did the orcs become like eighties boy bands? I don't really get it. Anyway. Um, war boss, weird boy, knobs and boys only, excluding bikes and mega armor. Models from this huge culture can pile in up to six inches. I mean, meh. not not when you've got an option to add one to the advance and charge roll with uh, yeah. with, yeah. with evil sons. <laughs> You're never going to take that. Yeah. Uh, Mad boys, which is this this is a bit of a a a second edition throwback. I'm sure of it. Um, um, infantry and bike units excluding Gretchen. Oh, poor Gretchen. Start of each battle roll, roll the D3. Ooh. And then you see what happens. You can go for Moronics. Not sure what that stands for. Um, when resolving an attack that targets, you add one to your saving throw. Not great. Yeah. Nutters. Units resist automatically plus morale tests. Not bad. Not great. But... You're not going to need it. No. And. Frenzies, I'd want to just That's really yeah. shite. Yeah, you're not ever, ever, ever going to take that ever, ever, ever. No. Well, I suppose it's for the fluff, for the yeah. fluff bunnies who have their their Mad Boys army from 1996. And fair play to plastic them. Plastic correction and fair play to them. And this is there's a bit of a bit of something for everybody. And here we come to custom jobs. So you can take a Met Boy workshop, but you're not gonna. Uh, you're just gonna get one one of these. Um, potentially, but which one? So, what have we got? Speed Freaks, um, Battle Wagon, add two, no, not great. Um, souped up special, Boom Daka Snaz Wagon, oh, he's Crap. back. It's Something 15, though, strength four minus <laughs> God, it's just so bad. It's just, just so bad, <laughs> and it, it, it's, 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 it's not good, it's just, it's just, just so bad. Just 15 shot bolt of gun. Oh, useless. Gyroscopic Whirly Gig. Now that is from second edition. Do you remember second? Did you ever play? I don't think you did, no, did you? No, you don't remember the war gear cards. 
No. I'm convinced the gyroscopic well, wheeler gig was a war gear card. I did see them actually, because that was the one where you had the Dark Imperium like box just thing, wasn't it? Of, that came afterwards. It's just a, it's just a the big, wad of friggin, and that had the big yeah. card foot of Gulk, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, it did. It was awesome. Yeah, that I, missed, I did have that. Always I missed. missed. Yeah, I did. Have so that. shock jump drags the unit. Um, uh, you can use this uh, ability when even if you don't roll a four plus. Yeah, and you don't take your. Yeah, it's all right. I, well, it's, we'll put it in the all right. The custom yeah. booster blaster, the custom booster, blaster, which is the one that's good. The mega, the mega track scrap no, that he's next. It's the yeah, we, and this one's not great. It's all right. It's it's not. It's again so situational. But anyway, so let's... the rivet cannon, unmodified no. roll of a six and flip. No, next. No, next. Corkscrew spelt with a K. Nice, yeah. nice touch. I, I, mega, see, I like mega I track love scrap jet. And you I love really, the mega track. I really, track, really, really, yeah. I, I was writing lists with. With nine of these, uh, I just think they're actually really quite good. If they if they could get just a little bit cheaper, I I, I really would I I'd potentially buy these guys because I think they're they're actually really because because you you can run these units for free, right? Yes, you can. So you could pick this corkscrew on one of those units. The first time this unit finishes a consolidation move in each fight phase, it can fight again. That's good. Yes. But the problem is, of course, you just have to say to your opponent, this unit's got corkscrew, and then it just dies first, yes. right? Yes. Nitro powered squigs. Whoa, doesn't that sound cool? Rocker truck squig boogie, and that's where that ends. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to take it because it's crap. Oh, but you get one sort of wound roll, though, from whatever <laughs> pie. You took pies, doesn't it? Squig pies. Yeah, it's like a cool. squig pie chucker. Yeah. Oh, useless. It's the ugliest Gorks. one as well. No, it's terrible. Uh, Gorks roar. Death Killer War Trike. I do love my Death Killer War Trike. I do. I, I want to really like it. Add four to the range of this model's killer jet and change it to in a profile six. Terrible. Mm. Okay. Um, da Boomer. Battle Wagon, Bone Breaker, or Gun Wagon. Replaces the Kill Cannon. No. Heavy 2D6 strength. It just becomes a. Ba- that, that's just a Lehman Rust. Mm. No, it's not going to hit, though. But it won't hit. No. Yeah. Not going to and it's heavy, so as it moves around, it's going to be... Yeah, it's going to get even bloody worse. <laughs> so same models again, replace the Zap gun with the Zag Zap. Well, that sounds cool. Okay. Heavy one, 2D6. Heavy one so... on an orc. Move on. Oh, Christ. Really quick. Well, but, well, no, wait, let, let's let's read. When resolving a hit with a weapon, don't hit. it automatically hits. So you go, you're going to automatically hit, but then you have to roll 2D6 strength. And then if it, if it goes 9+, plus. It immediately just does three mortal wounds. That's pretty shit, isn't it? Yeah. Like, why would you spend a CP on that? Or the fork to points just for that gun, you can get a uh, shock attack gun. The fortress. This sounds like a forklift truck fortress. That's amazing. Why would they say that? You go up to a free up save and a five up involve. Mm. Nah, that could have some play. It's not bad on battle want... wagon. Battle wagons are actually yeah. okay. They're okay. So yeah, it's not bad. If you're going to use that, that's a battle wagon you shoot at him, can't you? Yes. So. Yeah, I suppose that if you did that with a, with a with a load of guys inside, and if it keeps them alive a bit longer, maybe. Yeah. Pincher, what's this? A model with a grabbing claw. What the fuck's got a grabbing claw? I don't uh, even wagon. know. What... Oh, okay. Is that what is that the big claw thing on the side? Mm-hmm. It grabs things. It's a grabbing claw, obviously. Each time the bearer fights, you can make a single attack with this pincher. When resolving an attack, add three mm-hmm. to the hit roll if it's a monster. So it does does. Oh, oh, Two. Not great. The red roller. That sounds pretty cool. This is the bone breaker. That's the one with a big, huge death roller. roller. Death, death roller. roller. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, replace a model's bone breaker ram with the following red roller. Each time this model makes a charge move, add six to its attacks characteristic. That's actually really good. That's a lot of that attacks. Good? Yeah. That's a lot yeah, because that hits pretty hard, doesn't it? As well. It does. Yeah, it's really hard. Yeah, that's good. Okay. That's really good. Yeah, that's 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 a viable one because again, that's... you can drop this thing, charge it three d six. Like there's yeah, it's another it's another good candidate for being stuck in that teleporter. Um, for, yeah. for for some from trolling purposes. Oh, I suppose yeah. you can, and you can chuck shit in that. Yes, you can. can. You teleport? Can yes. you teleport stuff that's inside yes. as well? Yes. Is no, that like freebie or just yes, pay free... extra? Nope, freebie. <clears throat> nice. Yeah. Nice. 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 Orchimatic pistons. No, Sounds okay. cool. Killer cans, death dreads, morcanaut or gorgonaut, add free to the movement. No. Nope. Yeah, that's pretty shite. Nope. Sparkly bits. Ah, now ah, we're into the uh, the stripper character. Um, killer cans, death dreads, morcanauts or gorgonauts. Oh, up the ballistic skill by one. 
Oh, you've built a four. That's quite good. That's quite good because the Gorkonaut has a lot of shots. Okay. A lot okay. of shots. I quite like that. I would probably do that. I'd probably, I'd, I'd have that. So Gorkonaut. you're I'd have that for Gary. Drift? No, no. You'd have that. Gary, Gary, Gary the Gorkonaut. Yeah. Oh, Gary okay. would take that. He'd like that. I might, Gary. Buy that. I, might, I might buy that for him, actually. If you paint it like a snail, like Gary from from uh, Spongebob, I'll let you have that. Uh, it's it's blue. Oh, blue. Of course he is, like everything else. Dirty Gubbins. <laughs> Killer cans or death dreads. This could be your death dread unit. Could um, be. If you shoot at them, minus one to hit. It's not terrible. Mm. Oh, oh here's, here's your Gorkonaut. Slug Gubbin. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's great. It's 24 great. shot strength six. That's great. Oh. And if you're within 12 inches, you add one to the hit roll. Oh, man. Loving that. And, and that's a lot of it, shots. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, but I can't have both. I want both. You can't have both. Oh, that's a shame. You, can't, you can't have that hit on fours. This is this is. Well, no, he hits on fours anyway, because he's got it built in. So you teleport him down 12. You know, yeah, exactly. 12. It, yeah. And then he's... If only you, Dad, my, my, my own complaint with all this sort of stuff is it's just a slightly stronger heavy bolter. I just yeah. don't know if I but really got, like that. The thing is, it has the, um, it, but it also has Daka Daka, so it's exploding as well. Yeah, I suppose. If you so, need to clear chaff, that yeah, is not I bad. Yeah, that's great. I, I think it's amazing, because also you've got the um, custom ammo stratagem. So basically, generally when I take Gary, I take Gary in the um, Dreadwar, because he goes in there, because obviously everyone has a Dreadwar, because that's where the souped up shocker, shocker comes from. Yeah, nobody um, normally has anything fucking else in it. But yeah, it's, that's it's very, very true. Um, but then you can use custom <laughs> ammo to shoot it again. So he could shoot that twice. 48 shots. Yeah, okay, reasonable. But and wait, then, there's, then another, there's the another one. There's another one for your Gorkonaut or Gorkonaut. Um Gary's really is, they're spoiling him. So the um, oh, when you're using the crush when you're using the crush profile of the bearer's core of Gork, or possibly Mork, um, Rolls of less than four count as four, so it does minimum four damage in close combat. That's good. So I don't know how many hits it gets, but that's called the Gog Claw. Yeah, that's the big claw. So it does flat three damage normally, I think. So um, it must not. It must do D6 damage. Otherwise, why would you be rolling less than four? Yeah, true, true. Hang on, let's have a look. It's a crush profile, so you must have the stomp profile or the crush. So if he's going in with his big fist, it's for now, for now, and um, makes him flat four damage. So that could be, he could be back. You've got, then. Yeah. you've got a lot of choices. You've got a lot of choices. I know. Well, well I love it. I've got another one that I've still got to build. So I might have to take a, <laughs> I might have to take a mech workshop. So I can take Gary's new, Gary's brother or sister. <laughs> still in bits. Taking an actual mech workshop. Who knew that was a thing? Oh, and the last one. They've saved the best till last. Yeah. Stomper. It's for a stomper. No. It's the Blitzer Gatler. It's the model's mm. Super Gatler. Has a damage mm. characteristic of two. Yeah. It, it, in addition, when rolling for the weapon, for the weapon Psycho so Daka shots. Blaster, yeah. you can re-roll the D6 once per phase. I don't know what that means. It gets a lot of shots. I can't remember how many shots. I'm trying to find my, I've lost the Codex now. Where's the Codex? I got so excited. No one, does anyone ever taken a Stomper, though, are they? I mean, it's just maybe maybe for funsies, and that's about it. If it got a lot cheaper. Let's have a, let's have a look at I want to have a look at those those weapons, though, just because of... Yeah, I just want to know what the what the Psycho Daka Blaster ability does, because apparently you can re-roll the D6. Right. Is that the, oh, that's if it shoots again. It again. Yeah, yeah exactly. Okay, so that's it's a re-roll so to shoot again. The Psycho Daka Blaster, in your shooting phase, after firing the model... No, it's a model Gatler. super... super yeah, that's yeah. It. After, after firing that uh, for the first time, uh, you can attempt to shoot it a second time, roll a D6, and on a 1, the weapon, it can't shoot it again. Um, on a 2+, plus it can shoot it. And then you can you can decide to shoot it for a third time. On a 4+, plus, the weapon's ammo um, is... Ex- oh, on a, on so under you, four you, get one, you get one re-roll to that. Nice, nice. Well, the thing is, you're all probably... And it goes to damage it too. So yeah, I don't know how many shots it has. It has... Is this like 6d6? 3d6. Yeah, that's not that amazing, is it? Well, I suppose damage 2 is not terrible. 3d6, strength 7, minus 2. Now going to 2 damage. It's alright, isn't it? No. Yeah. It's alright. No you're, no you're, you're not going to take it at the best part of 1,000 points. But, uh, 
But and yeah, we're 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 nearly there. There's quite a lot in this, isn't there? Jeez, I didn't realize I had so much. Oh, there's loads. So, yeah, loads. this is this has been. Why, why weren't the space wars this fucking good? Oh, anyway, no. so Tell now we've that. got some psychic powers. Now we've got some psychic powers, and this there is one in here which I think's got a lot of play. But we'll get to that. So first of all, Goff's bull charge. Woo. Does anyone play Goff's? I don't nope. think so. Nope. Um, so let's one guess and... was forsaken. Until the end of the turn, charge distances of less than seven. Yeah. After modifiers, count as seven. Right. Don't okay. really understand that. So he always charges seven then. Yeah. All right. Death skulls, maniacal seizure. Okay. Since I didn't realise we were bringing we were bringing think, epilepsy to the battlefield. I quite liked this um, one. Like yeah, so it goes off on a seven, which means nothing to walks. If manifesto slipped to one enemy unit within eighteen inches of the cycle, so enemy unit. Start an expected phase when resolving an attack made by that unit, subtract one from the hit roll. When resolving an attack made by a friendly death skull model against that, improve your AP. See, the the big problem with that is psychers are never that close for orcs. As you as mm. everybody knows, the um orc weird, weird boys are hiding in the back lines springing things at you um from afar they're not within 18 inches and then and then they die and then they die because they kill themselves so they they are very very rarely going to be within that sort of range so i don't see that happening much which is why the one i think is going to see loads of players going to see loads of players has no feckin range uh bad moons gloom gleaming gleaming gear uh, so you like your bad moons anyway yeah bad moons manifest is select a unit of bad moons um when resolving an attack made against that unit, add one to its saving throw. Meh. Meh. Mm. Is that any good? Not nope. really. Nope. Snake bites, constriction. Ooh, it's a really snaky name. I like it. Um, goes off on a six. If manifest is selects an enemy unit within 12, then we can already see why that's gone wrong. They started as far as half their attack characteristic. Um, very situational and not going to help. Uh, evil sons, visions in the smoke. Ooh. Nice album name. Um, warp charge of six. If manifest selects a friendly evil son's vehicle within twelve, you can only select a unit with a wounds characteristic of eighteen or more if the result is a nine or higher. So that's going to make Gary a bit difficult. Mm-hmm. Until the start of your next psychic phase, you can reroll the hit roll. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Blood axes, and this is the one. I just think this is going to get played everywhere. Um, if manifest is selects one enemy unit visible to the psycho, so no range. So the start of your next psychic phase, that unit can it fire Overwatch at a Blood Axe units from your army, and can it be chosen to fight until all eligible Blood Axe units have done so? I think you just 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 gives you such a cool thing. To, you don't need there's no range. You just need a unit of throwaway Blood Axes commandos somewhere, don't you? Because they infiltrate or they, they change all that. Um, they do not infiltrate. So they, deep, go, they deep strike. So they deep strike. So that unit there, um, uh, you can't overwatch against uh, blood axes. Oh look, here's a unit of blood axes. He goes in first, and we all know, like you know, that you'd never see the strength in turning off overwatch because you know you didn't like the licks to begin with, did you? But it can be absolutely huge if you play in combat. Yeah. Being able the to just only go, no, you problem can't. is you can't. They don't have any bonuses to charge apart from a reroll. Yeah, it's tricky, isn't it? But I, I think it's got play. Out of all of these, it's got. It's the only one I think has got any actual play. I agree. I agree. I it's still... just because there's no range. I, I I know it's tricky and it's difficult, but I think if you were going to build an army around combat, being able to get some tricksy little units going in there and turning off Overwatch yeah. is always handy. Yeah, um, don't disagree with that. <laughs> and there's no range is just amazing because, like you said, he's, he's hiding at the back. He's yeah. nowhere near anything, is he? So he just needs yeah. to be able to see, which is fairly easy. Uh, and the thing is, is, people will take the um, because in orcs, people take mixed detachments. So you take a soup detachment of orcs. Yep. Um, and then you just take the weird boy. So you just you know that's the thing. So you just take a super detachment, little super detachment, stick it in there. Yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, yep. so, And he only so, has to have the blood X keyword. Exactly. He's have to, exactly. That's it. Yeah. 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 It's got a little. Yeah. Well, it's got a potential, hasn't it? Because it's not a lot of does. points to to does. be able to do it. Yeah. Okay. Um, free boot is jolly orcs glare. Um, warp charge is six. If man effects is selects an enemy unit within eighteen, always difficult. So it's half their half their movement. And subtract one from a chance of them in charge rolls. 
Mm, it, it, I mean, that's not bad, I suppose. Like, if you've got him in your back line, you've got something that's going to get get you the turn next turn. But, the but thing again, is, it's situational because so many things could just get to you the turn they turn up. Absolutely, so. yeah. and orcs generally, <coughs> things people don't want to tend to charge orc lines. No, because that's normally a bad place to be. Well, um, like normally, like people will keep a caretaker unit of something that hits fairly hard in the back, right? So you've got all those you normally spring in boys. Guns. Yeah, because you normally spring in boys at like one at a turn. So you generally got a big old unit of boys that's there. That that that's yeah, yeah. I mean, and to be fair, also... like the Cor- the Corey guy I played, he actually had a unit of mega knobs just yeah. for that kind yeah. of like exactly. You just had them stuck at the back, surrounded by fucking grots. So there's no point even shooting them. Yeah, uh, and they're just they're just there to babysit. They don't doing anything else. I kept expecting him to dare jump them, but he didn't. He just sat them there, and he was just more. I sussed out pretty quickly that they're just there to, 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 to basically Absolutely. deter me from getting too close. Because if I get too close, I'm just going to get charged by them. Absolutely. So yeah, and that, and that is it, mate. And bar that, you've got a little bit of an orc name generator. You could have Bok Grobber Dagger Fist. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's awesome. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's very, very orky. You, you could, you could make your little, you know, that little guy with his shock attack gun. You could give him a little name. I mean, you wouldn't be able to because you don't understand the concept of a D sixty six. So, but I anyway, you, you could just if pick I did, them if you yeah. wanted to. Yeah. If you did, you, you could be like Zark Nut Squid Biter. Classy. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> right. But that's it, that, right? That's us. And that is orcs. So, so, I, so yeah, I think, so, I think that cool. really makes a big, big difference. I do as well. I think it's really strong. Really, really strong. I think it's like, made. I think it's, it's made the a before. blob of stuff that was good anyway much better. Right, which you didn't need. Nope. And then it's just given you like, lots of little lots of little bits of sugar on top of your strawberries, isn't it? Like 'cause yeah. it's it's made it's made your war boss better. Yeah. Um it's... better. Looters better. Like, yeah, there's all, all the, your sort of units. The units you might you're <laughs> yeah, and it's actually chucked a couple of little like we've just sort of said, a couple of yeah, little threads. interesting subplots. Yeah, or would you, wouldn't you? Yeah, you know, the um, SNES, um, what are they called? The flash kits, flash kits. Yeah, came off play yeah. there. The flyers. We talked about the flyers. So there's. I think uh, yeah, you're going to see flyers. I think they're they're definitely going to become a thing. I think you've got loads. I think you've got real options. You've got real options across the board. I don't think it's uh, mega knobs are better, and they were pretty good before. Like you've, I think you've got loads and loads of options, um, which is great. Really, really good. Really good. Happy. Agreed. Happy old player. Happy old player. Sorry, Space Wolves. Sorry, yeah, Space I don't Wolves. think I don't think we won that battle in terms of the who got the better shit. I think I'm still I'm still at a bit of a loss to how I, I do I do like the concept of the six Thunder Wolves with the Storm Shields and just yes, um, so do I. and chainsaws and I think that's yeah. got a bit of play. So do I. And I quite I like the idea of the little dudes dropping forward. But the problem is, is we had that already. Yes. I don't. We haven't really got anything new. No. Right. Whereas Orcs again. But then that always seems to be away with these books, isn't it? One one army seems to do really so, quite uh, well out of it, and then yeah. the the other army seems to get a bit. Well, it's really nice you've given me lots of fluffy things, but there's nothing that I'm really gonna. Dark I'm Angels gonna set my world and, on fire. Uh, and Grey Knights in the same book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a bit of a. Two different people were writing those rules, right? One guy was told to make them fluffy; you don't <laughs> have to go nuts. And the other guy was told, "Fuck it, we got sixty pallets of paladins. Just fuck it, make them busted." <laughs> <laughs> very bizarre. Very, very weird. Yeah, 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 I want make people buy those fuckers. <laughs> I'm on it. Um, is it is it too strong that they're unkillable? Nah. <laughs> uh, it just sounds all right. It's only we'll, one worry year, about, we'll, we'll worry about that next year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's it. So but yeah, but, no, us. but um, but yeah, thank you very much for listening, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Um, I think it's been a good show. We've seemed to have covered it pretty well. Um, if we've missed stuff, and we always do, or made some massive mistake, then let us know. Um, you can let us know over on Facebook. Uh, we've got a dedicated Facebook page uh, just to the podcast, so you can let us know there. Um, and, and yeah, let us know what you think. But uh, until the next one, and I'm not sure what we're doing next, so um, well, any, you, we're getting any a, suggestions? We're getting a mini. Are we not getting a little mini Death Watch Codex yeah, well, in, in yeah. White Dwarf? When are we is that coming out soon? It needs to come out soon, though, doesn't it? It needs soon. Yeah, I don't know when, but I know that's the next little. That's the yeah. next little tickle, isn't it? The, the, it, the, it, the... it is. It is. I think there was two. There was two. I'm sure there was two Harlequins. things getting upgrades. Harlequins, Harlequins too. Yeah. So, so we'll I see. We've got a little thing for Space Clown. So let's hope. I hope that comes soon. Well, let's see what ahead. happens. But otherwise, we'll be back soon. So thanks for listening, and we'll uh, see you soon. Take care. Bye for now. Bye.